The film begins by showing a chaotic scene in a Los Angeles nightclub where Jinky, a man from South Korea, is being beaten by a group of men. Mark, a security guard at the club who is also from South Korea, steps in to rescue Jinky and bring the altercation to an end. Jinky and Mark have a long history together and Jinky knows that Mark is a former arm wrestling champion who was once ranked among the best in the world. Desperate for a way to return to South Korea, Jinky seeks out Mark at the club and persuades him to enter an underground arm wrestling tournament being held there. As the two men train for the fight, they must also confront the events of their past and the challenges that led them to this point in their lives. With Mark's help, Jinky begins to train and showcase his arm wrestling skills. Despite the pressure of the tournament, Mark remains calm and composed as he takes on the defending champion. In a surprising upset, Mark easily defeats the champion and wins the prize money for Jinky. However, the defeated champion is not happy with his loss and tries to take back the money by attacking Jinky. Mark steps in to protect his friend and fights off the champion and his supporters, causing him to lose his job at the nightclub. Feeling restless and unfulfilled in his new job as a mall security guard, Mark decides to return to South Korea after being contacted by Jinky. As the two men reunite and reflect on their past and present, they must also confront the uncertain future that lies ahead. Upon arriving in South Korea, Jinky picks up Mark in his sports car and takes him on a tour of the country's tourist attractions. Though Jinky appears to be living a luxurious lifestyle, Mark knows that he is only pretending to be wealthy in order to get Mark to comply with his requests. During their trip, Jinky takes Mark to a nightclub, but rather than enjoying himself, Mark finds himself unable to shake his security guard instincts and ends up helping the staff manage the crowd. Eventually, Jinky brings Mark to a hotel to rest and surprises him with the address of his mother's house, which Mark has not seen in decades. Meanwhile, at a mall, a lone shark named Ju is collecting debts from various clothing merchants. Jinky approaches Ju with a proposition to become Mark's sponsor for the National Arm Wrestling Tournament and to place bets on Mark through an online gambling website. Jinky pitches the idea as a way for Ju to make a large profit, and Ju is interested in the offer. The next day, Mark goes to visit the address of his mother's house, but instead of finding his mother, he meets two young children, Ji Hyo and Tae Young, who live with their mother, Su Jin, a clothing merchant at the mall who also owes money to Ju. Despite his disappointment at not finding his mother, Mark remains curious about her and decides to visit the house again. When he returns, he reunites with Ji Hyo and Tae Young but still has no information about who Su Jin is. Determined to find out more, Mark follows Su Jin to the mall where she works, but still comes up empty handed. Eventually, Mark is introduced to Ju, his potential sponsor for the arm wrestling tournament, and is taken to an amateur fight to showcase his skills. Ju's boss, Jimin, a wealthy and influential man, sees Mark's potential to generate a large profit and agrees to provide sponsorship funds for him. After securing funding from Ju and Jimin, Jinky takes Mark out to eat at a Korean restaurant. Initially, Mark is reluctant to try Korean food as he is used to American cuisine, but he quickly becomes addicted after trying it and ends up eating a dozen bowls of the same dish. The two men also enjoy luxurious accommodations, including massage chairs in their hotel rooms. Though Mark initially resists trying the chair, he ends up enjoying it so much that he falls asleep. Despite the lavish treatment, Ju remains skeptical of Mark's skills and contacts Combo, the top arm wrestling athlete in South Korea. At Ju's request, Combo comes to the nightclub to assess Mark's skills. After watching Mark's match, Combo realizes that Mark is on another level and has the potential to become the greatest arm wrestling athlete of all time. Unbeknownst to Mark, Su Jin also attends the match and becomes curious about him. However, Ju becomes aware of Su Jin's presence and a small argument ensues between the two, which Mark overhears. Despite Ju's attempts to create more excitement by suggesting a match between Mark and Combo, both men reject his proposal, causing Ju to become angry. Mark, however, remains indifferent as he does not like being told whom he should fight. Mark's disregard for Ju's wishes causes Jinky to worry that Mark no longer wants to obey him. Jinky also believes that Mark's attitude is due to the woman he saw at the match, Su Jin. In an effort to get Mark to compete again, Jinky meets with Su Jin at her store. However, Ju and his men also arrive and become enraged at Jinky, causing a confrontation. Mark shows up and helps Jinky, easily defeating Ju's men. When Ju is left alone and on the verge of defeat at the hands of Mark, the police arrive and detain Jinky and Mark for questioning. The police are hesitant to release Mark due to his lack of South Korean citizenship but Jinky explains that he is a professional arm wrestler athlete in town to compete. To prove Jinky's claim, the police challenge Mark to a game, which he easily wins. Just as the situation is resolved, Su Jin arrives with Ji Hyo and Tae Yong and reveals that she is Mark's younger sister, born to the same mother but with a different father. She also shows Mark a childhood photo with his mother and explains that their mother passed away about a year ago. The revelation brings Mark and his sister closer together and helps him come to terms with his past. After Ju breaks his sponsorship contract with Mark, he and Jinky are left without a place to live. 
they eventually move into Su Jin's house, which technically belongs to Mark. Though they are siblings, Mark and Su Jin are awkward around each other at first, having never met before. However, Mark's presence brings positive change to the household, such as deterring the delinquent students who used to cause trouble in front of their home and intimidating the debt collectors who used to bully Su Jin. When one of the collectors, who is familiar with Mark, refuses to fight, the other, a newcomer, arrogantly challenges him. Mark quickly teaches him a lesson, but the next day, both collectors retreat upon seeing Mark emerge from the house. Unwilling to let Mark go, Ju searches for another arm wrestling athlete and settles on Goon Kwong, an ex-convict who was imprisoned for doping in his matches. Goon Kwong is known for being unsportsmanlike and injuring his opponents. As Mark sits with Jinky and discusses the possibility of another match, Jiho and Taeyong persuade him to participate. Jinky is determined to raise Mark's reputation in the eyes of the South Korean public and has arranged for him to fight Combo, the top arm wrestling athlete in the country. Many journalists are covering the match, which is sure to be a highly publicized event. The match between Mark and Combo is intense, with Mark struggling to keep up. Despite this, Combo is no match for him and Mark emerges victorious, much to the delight of his family. They were sharing a meal together at sunset. Two bald men, Combo's arm wrestling students, appear and try to cause a disturbance, upset at their master's defeat. Combo quickly stops them and apologizes to Mark for their behavior, embarrassed by their actions. Mark happily forgives them and the incident marks the beginning of a friendship between Combo and Mark. In the evening, Mark and Sujin sit down and discuss their mother's past. Despite seeming to hide something from Mark, Sujin reveals that their mother loved Mark very much and even mentioned his name while on her deathbed, hoping to see him one last time. Thanks to the televised match the previous day, Mark's past has gained exposure according to Jinky's plan to raise his profile and attract sponsors. However, despite some time passing, no sponsors have contacted Jinky yet. One day, as Mark drops off Jiho and Young at school, a boy begins mocking him and calling him a gorilla. His mother even supports her son's words and belittles Mark, saying he can never be a champion. Jiho and Young defend their uncle, revealing that he is a professional arm wrestler. The incident inspires the children to ask Mark to promise that he will become a champion in the upcoming arm wrestling championship, in order to prove himself. In the evening, Jinky invites Mark to meet his father, who is in debt and struggling to make ends meet. Jinky reveals that he is hoping for Mark to win the championship not only for fun, but to help pay off his father's debts and improve his family's financial situation. After unsuccessful negotiations with Ju, Jinky learns that he now has a new arm wrestling athlete, Goom Kwong, and no longer needs Mark. Ju tells Jinky that Goom Kwong will destroy Mark in the upcoming game. Meanwhile, Mark has finished training and is on his way home when he meets a crying boy and accidentally damages a bus facility while trying to comfort him. When he arrives home, he sees Young typing skillfully and learns that his grandmother, Mark's mother, taught him. This prompts Mark to search for old messages on his phone and he discovers a message from his mother explaining the identities of Su Jin and her children. Su Jin had always been like a sister to Mark, so he was shocked to learn that she was not his biological relative. As it turns out, Su Jin was a widow with two children who had been taken in by Mark's mother after her husband passed away. Mark's mother had found solace in the presence of Su Jin and her children and did not want to be alone, so she raised Su Jin as an adopted daughter. Despite feeling betrayed by the revelation, Mark chose to keep it to himself and accompanied Su Jin on a trip to visit his mother's grave. Along the way, they got into a scuffle with a rider, but Mark still stood by Su Jin's side and offered his assistance. When they reached the grave, Mark couldn't contain his emotions any longer and confronted Su Jin about the truth. He also broke down in tears, feeling that he had no one left in the world. Su Jin apologized and explained that she had never found the right time to tell Mark the truth. Despite his feelings of betrayal, Mark decides to leave Su Jin and Jinky, but Jinky won't let him go so easily and tries to stop him. The two argue, with Mark accusing Jinky of only using him for financial gain. Despite his frustration, Mark admits that Jinky has become like a brother to him and is willing to do what he asks. After a period of living alone, Mark comes to realize that even though they are not related by blood, Jinky, Su Jin, Ji Hyo, and Taeyong are all still his family. Determined to make them proud, Mark begins training for the National Arm Wrestling Competition, motivated by his promises to Ji Hyo and Taeyong, as well as his friendship with Jinky. He even goes so far as to train his hand muscles in unconventional ways, such as trying to pull a used car with just his right hand. The day of the National Arm Wrestling Competition finally arrives, and Mark finds Jinky and Combo at the event, along with their students. Ju also shows up with Goom Kwong, who is determined to win at all costs, even if it means cheating. The competition is attended by many high-profile figures, including the sports minister, Korean MMA fighters, and famous idols. To everyone's surprise, Ji Hyo and Tae Yong also appear, having seen Mark on television and decided to come support him. 
As the elimination round begins, the athletes show off their strength and sportsmanship, but Goom Kwong is clearly looking to cause harm to his opponents. As the match continues, Ji Min becomes concerned about Mark's chances of winning and asks Ju to intervene. In the end, Ju calls Jinky backstage and offers him a large sum of money to persuade Mark to withdraw from the competition. Meanwhile, Goom Kwong continues to injure his opponents, including one of Combo's students. Jinky meets with Mark in the locker room and presents him with a bag full of cash, explaining that it could be used to pay off his father's debt and Su Jin's debt to Ju. However, Mark is not tempted and firmly refuses the offer, stating that he will not back down in the match and that he is competing to prove something to himself. He asks Jinky to return the money and reiterates his determination to succeed in the world of arm wrestling. Su Jin learns that her children have gone to watch Mark's match and decides to rush to the competition herself, leaving her store in the care of a friend. Meanwhile, Ji Hyo and Tae Yong run into Jinky at the event and tell him that Mark has promised to win and become a true champion. Jinky is moved by their words and decides to return Ju's money and stay true to his principles in the match. Mark manages to make it to the semifinals and faces off against Combo, whom he has defeated before. Despite Combo's hard training, Mark's hand muscles, which he had strengthened by pulling used cars, give him the edge and he emerges victorious. As the semifinals come to an end, Jimin urges Ju to deal with the situation quickly, as Goom Kwong's defeat would mean the loss of a significant amount of money and Ju would be held responsible. When the match is over, Mark can't find Jinky and goes backstage to search for him, only to find him beaten by Ju and his men. Enraged, Mark fights off Ju and his accomplices, then helps Jinky to his feet and reassures him that he made the right decision in rejecting Ju's money. The final match pits Mark against Goom Kwong, who is physically larger and more imposing, with a tattoo covering his hand. Despite the intimidation, Mark remains unfazed and the match begins. Goom Kwong nearly breaks Mark's thumb, but Mark manages to break free and the referee decides to tie their hands together to prevent further separation. The final match between Mark and Goom Kwong is intense, with both competitors giving it their all. However, Goom Kwong has been using performance-enhancing drugs, which make it difficult for Mark to keep up. Despite the strain, Mark is determined to fulfill his promise to Ji Hyo and Tae Yong and become a true champion. As the match progresses, Mark begins to lose ground, but a shout of encouragement from Jinky, Su Jin, Ji Hyo, Tae Yong, and even the police and Jinky's father gives him the boost he needs. The support pushes Mark to dig deep and find the strength to turn the tide, eventually defeating Goom Kwong and becoming the champion. In the end, Mark emerges victorious and becomes the first champion in the National Cup competition. Ju, on the other hand, experiences bad luck as he has lost a significant amount of money gambling with Jimin. As Mark is presented with a trophy and asked to share his thoughts and impressions, he becomes emotional as he thinks about his mother. The film concludes with Mark officially representing South Korea in the World Cup competition, accompanied by a supportive Jinky. The moral of the story is the dangers of borrowing money from lenders, as it can lead to more problems down the road. If Jinky's father had not been in debt, Jinky may not have felt the pressure to persuade Mark to compete for financial gain.